So now we're going to talk about light. Trying to create an interference pattern between two sources with sound waves or water waves was one thing. But there's a lot of difficulties when we're talking about light. First one is how do you get two sources of light really close to each other? Well, it's obviously really difficult. So instead of having two sources, we're going to have one source and we're going to shine it through two little slits. And those two slits act as our two point sources like we had before. It's not very hard to show with a little bit of math, and I'm sure you can look at your book and find out how, that the formula is the wavelength equals delta x times d over l. It's a PD day day, by the way. Uh, which is d is the distance between the two slits, and l is the length from the slits to the screen. Okay? I'm going to show you exactly what we're talking about right now and explain this for me a little bit before we do an example. So, right now we'll turn the lights off and you can see on the board is a single laser. I'm going to move two slits in front and you can't see this, I know. But there, you can pretty nicely see how there's a central bright, bright one and they're spread out in even intervals. So you can see that all the brights and all the darks in the middle are evenly spaced out. And that's all I need to show you, really. So, they're evenly spaced out. If I were to uh, draw sort of what I meant, it would look something like this. Bright spot, dark area. Bright spot, dark area. Bright spot, dark area. And the distance between all the dark areas turn out to be equal. Whether you can see it or not, it's true. We can measure it and see it. If I were to chart or graph how bright they are, their intensity, I would see that the middle one was the most intense, and then it went down fairly quickly. But again, most importantly, the distance between all these dark fringes, so where the intensity goes to zero, that's the dark fringe, they would all be same distance apart. We call that delta x. This distance is delta x, delta x, delta x. So it's really quite simple. The formula is simple. As long as you know what the letters mean, you can't really go too long, too wrong. To show you what I mean, let's say we've measured the distance between six dark fringes. And we said that six dark fringes were 8 centimeters apart, then what would delta x be? Well, we're saying from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to here. How many delta x's is in that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the distance between 6 dark fringes is actually only 5 delta x's, so it's 8 centimeters over 5. Throw in some other numbers. Let's say we did this experiment and the length from our screen to our double slits was 5 meters, L would be 5 meters. And if we measured the separation of the two slits, which is often the most difficult part of an experiment like this, uh, let's say we had a value of 170 microns. 170 microns. Uh, what is 170 microns? 1.7 times 10 to the... Negative 6 is 175, 4. 1.7 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. So I'll just dump that into the formula. Lambda equals delta x, which is 8 centimeters. I'll convert that guy to meters. 0 0.08 over 5 times d, 1.7 times 10 to the negative 4 meters over l, which was just 5 meters. <laughs> And what we get is 5.44 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, which is our answer. Uh, negative 6 is micrometers. Light is usually expressed in nanometers, which is negative 9. So that means move this guy over two more, I'll get a negative 9. So that is 544 times 10 to the negative 9 meters, which is 544 